uh, I've always been in love of the sculpture uh, of Brancusi. This is a piece conceived by, by Man Ray in 1919, made an edition of a piece in the 70s by himself. But I love the, uh, the material, like uh, a mix between modernism and archaeological piece. For these years I am uh, showing some uh, incredible uh, masks uh, from the Yaka tribe, uh, the region of the Bandundu and the Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo. And this mask uh, is uh, represent a different uh, ancestor before the initiation of the young boy and the tribe. The initiation is the, the past during the, the boy coming a man between uh, the adolescence, so it's like uh, 12 uh, years old until they, 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 they had to come to adults. So he used his mask and uh, he put the mask on the face and he going to the forest during a long period. It depends on the period, it can be the, the three days until two weeks. And during this period, the ancestor give uh, to the young boy the education to become a man. Every country, every region, every tribe. So like, for example, in the Congo, we have 400 different tribes. And you can have maybe not 400 different type of religion, but you have maybe 100 different type of religion. At the Brafa, every year everything is new because every everybody comes with a new spirit, a fresh, uh, wants to renew things and wants to get new contacts with the visitors. And we have uh, most of the time, of course, the same exhibitors but with different pieces. So it's a pleasure to come and discover everything that has going to be displayed at Abraham. Yes, well, it just happened to be that Christo was in Brussels and uh, the president of the Brafa met uh, Christo and suggested that he might maybe come and show something specially for us, bring uh, one of his pieces in the show, which he with great pleasure did. They went had a lunch in a restaurant and Christo immediately started making a small design on a piece of paper and uh, that was the project in, in, in two words and now it is here and we're very happy that people will come and discover this Christo piece where at the same time there is an exhibition of Christo in Brussels. This is a piece from Central Asia, it's from uh, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is not very well known for people uh, who don't know too much about carpets because it's a very restricted production. Uh, they have made until now mostly rugs and carpets that for their own use and not so much for the export. Quindi siamo davanti a un'opera di Cristo su Rounded Island, un'opera realizzata nel 1983 a Miami, dico realizzata nel senso che eh, quello che si vede in questo progetto è stato fisicamente realizzato su sette isole, su sette piccole isole di fronte a Miami, che con questo tessuto rosa, un rosa molto accattivante, ha contornato e ha reso con una veduta dall'alto il paesaggio tipico delle isole di Miami completamente differente rispetto a quello che uno può cogliere volando sopra Miami. Sì, siamo molto insoliti in quanto non abbiamo diciamo, un'arte classica ma riprendiamo il concetto di Wunderkammer, un concetto che è nato nel XVI secolo e noi l'abbiamo attualizzato al XXI secolo. Dunque abbiamo preso le categorie fondamentali della Wunderkammer, che sono i naturalia, i mirabili, le scientifiche e gli exotica, le abbiamo attualizzate nel XXI secolo. Dunque cosa abbiamo? Una storia naturale, non abbiamo gli animali impersamati, ma abbiamo i dinosauri antichi. E negli scientifica non abbiamo i globi, ma abbiamo le tute spaziali. E per quanto riguarda gli exotica, gli oggetti che vengono dall'altro mondo, anche in questo momento è un po' ridicolo parlarne, perché con internet sappiamo quello che succede in ogni secondo, in ogni istante nel mondo, pensiamo che i veri exotica sono quello che viene dal di fuori dalla Terra, dunque abbiamo le meteoriti. Sono felice di essere qui. Sono venuto 25 anni fa, quando il Brafa era vicino al palazzo del re, e ero qui anche magari 8 anni fa, ma ho dovuto fermare per venire perché abbiamo così tanti fair e ero in capo di molte cose in of in France. Uh, now I am more quiet, so he said I come back because Belgium collector are quite uh, uh, important. They enjoy to collect, they enjoy, they have a good knowledge uh, in art, which is not the case anymore in uh, other country. Polo player is very important in Chinese art and in the Chinese uh, civilization because the polo was uh, 
at the beginning in Persia and it came from Persia to Tibet and from Tibet to China and under the Tang dynasty the emperor decided that it was important to have very good riders that they learned to play polo because uh, polo it's a very difficult uh, game and you have to be a very very good rider. <laughs>